All right, I'm here with Brighton Barr. Bright, seven years of NCAA eligibility. You don't hear about that a lot. Um, you know, when you've when you, you got two more years left, when you look at this and, and the road you've, you've traveled, uh, now you're, you're transferring from Towson over to UMass. I mean, how do you, you know, take us back over, over the last few years and, and, and kind of look ahead over the next few years and just kind of, you know, share, share your journey with us. Yeah, well, I started at Towson in 2012, you know, started as true freshman, um, you know, earned a starting spot. Did pretty well my freshman year, um, finished second on the team in tackles, uh, one tackle behind the leader. Um, the following year, second game of the season, we were playing Holy Cross, and uh, right near the end of the game, I went and went to a tackle kind of odd and tore my right, right pec tendon and had to out the rest of the season and sort of rehab and you know, rehab that pec back. So got back healthy the following year, um, and I was training for the season and then was doing a running drill back home and, you know, collided with someone and their elbow caught me right in the left armpit and tore my other pec tendon, and which sidelined me for the rest of the, uh, the 2014 season. Um, so I... You know, rehab that again and, you know, came back stronger than ever for the 2015 season. And one week before our first game, I got two shot by one of my teammates and went down and tore, tore my left ACL, which uh, put me out for, obviously, for the rest of that season, too. So, you know, I came back, you know, I told myself, you know, I already – you know, rehab, two other injuries, why can't I do it a third time? So that's exactly what I did. And, you know, I played the last uh, last season, 2015 season, completely healthy, um, played well. And then I, I said to myself, you know, I only played two full years of college football. I don't want it to end here. Um, I have an opportunity to, you know, get a six-year, um, you know, start a, a, a graduate program somewhere. So I applied to the NCAA and applied for sixth and seventh year to see if I could get that seventh year. And on January 9th, I was uh, granted the sixth and seventh year and transferred here to UMass. Um, they put me on full scholarship, and I'm just very thankful for that. Um, so I'm just looking forward to these next two years. How good of a feeling is it to know you get those next two years? Because, you know, not everybody gets – second or third chance or, you know, even a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh chance. You know, a lot of a lot of guys mm-hmm. don't don't get the chance to kind of get the time back. So, you know, and have you thought about that and, and, you know, just how do you feel about how, how this has worked out for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for it and I'm very excited. You know, I was, uh, you know, very grateful to even get a scholarship to play Division One college football in the first place, and that happened. And then to be able to get a sixth and a seventh year, you know, there's only been a select few that's gotten that seventh year. You know, I I didn't even think I'd be able to get the sixth year and get that seventh. You know, it's just, you know, it's very humbling and, you know, makes me want to work even harder and, you know, earn a spot here at UMass. So. Yes, you, you, you're going to join a UMass team. Um you know, for the for UMass fans that haven't seen you, uh, just what do you hope to bring to the team, and and what are your expectations in joining that program? You know, I want to walk in walk in here and be a leader. You know, um, defense kind of struggled from what I heard and what I saw last year, and I kind of want to be a leader for the defense, leader for this team, um, and just you know help UMass win some football games. So that's my goal. You told me uh, you're going to be living with uh, a couple of your friends, Adam Brenneman and, and uh, Andrew Ford. Um, so, you know, how much are you looking forward to that? What's that going to be like? And I guess tell us about those guys. And, you know, obviously they yeah. had great years last year too. Yeah, they're, you know, stand-up guys. They're a great couple of guys. Uh, played against them in high school, kind of had a little bit of a rivalry, you could say. Um and then after we graduated from high school, we uh, started working out together at the gym back home and kind of built this, you know, tight bond friendship, you could say. And 
Um, and I knew they were they were up here at UMass, so I actually am living with both of them up here, so it, it worked out uh, quite well. So. And I guess finally, you told me last year you, you played a little bit of uh, you know kind of like a stand up in. Yeah, you think you may play some more on the inside this year. Um, just tell us about that, and, and, and I think that's a transition you said that you're, you're pretty comfortable with, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I played uh, at like a stand-up DN last year. It was my first time playing a position like that. But um, from what the coaches have said, they uh, <clears throat> they see me playing inside, uh, probably weak side. Or, um, so... Yeah, I'm I'm pretty used to that position. I I played inside in high school and you know, did quite well there and so it just kinda of feels, you know, right to be back in the middle. All right, Brighton. Well listen, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me and uh we'll be keeping track with you and uh we'll coordinate seeing how things work out with you at UMass. Awesome, thank you so much. Thanks.